Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create a custom table within Power BI. Now this custom table can be related to your existing table or the data model or it can be a altogether standalone. The whole idea is this that if you have a need where you want to create a simple and a small table for a specific need of the scenario that you want to capture then in that case how you can use the inbuilt functionality of the power bi and create it so we'll sh i'll show you in a minute and before that just a quick information that this sheet where i am keeping all of my power bi tutorial videos along with the link uh, you can find the sheet link in the description that way you can come here and search any of my previously loaded videos as you can see i have posted many videos along with some dashboards like sales dashboard customer analytics dashboard financial complaint dashboard or twitter dashboard all of those samples i have posted here along with uh, how to videos which you can search and uh, jump to those using the uh, link present in the column b also since it is a live sheet all of my future videos will also be present here. All right, with that information, let me go to the Power BI. And here we are in the Power BI. As you can see, I'm here in the blank sheet. We have this uh, couple of tables already, let's say part of this BI. And we want to create a new table. So if you want to create that new, simple, custom, small table, then you can come over here in this enter data. And this basically allows you to create a custom table for your needs. For example, let's say we, we have some projects going on into the organization and we want to create the two column table, which is let's say a project code. And let's say another column we want to create is the project name, right? Let's say if this is something which is not part and you suddenly realize that, okay, at a high level, there are three or four projects going on. So instead of creating a spreadsheet or something, you just create it over here so that you can easily maintain this. So maybe the project code is, let's say, P, uh, P01. And let's say this is artificial intelligence. You add new row, you enter P02. Let's say it is a cloud computing project or cloud migration. Uh, you create one more column, P03. Let's say this is something IoT project. I'm just making this stuff up. But the whole idea I'm showing you is you have a way by which you can add, keep on adding the column and keep on adding the rows. So as you can see, this is for only those custom scenarios where you want to have a quick table to be the part of your data model so that you want to run any conditional stuff or join it or perform any type of, uh, you know, modeling and calculation. You can do it very easily without much of a hassle of going outside of the Power BI. Okay, and finally, you can change the name of the pro uh, table, like for example, projects, right? And simply say load. Once you will load it, you will see that uh, it will come over here. So since it is loading, three rows detected, and now the project is part of my all the other tables. Similarly, you can go here in the data model and click on projects. You will find the project over here. Similarly, uh, other than that, you can come over here and if I just, you know, put it here, you have this project table here. If let's say you have any re related table, you can join it. So that's something I wanted to show you very quickly how you can create these uh, for the custom scenarios or for a specific scenario where you need to create a small, simple custom table. Then you can utilize this inbuilt functionality, which I feel is very very important sometimes and uh, when we are not aware then we just go outside create a table in sql let's say or somewhere else to find the information with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic